Sao Paulo, Brazil, in the 1800s. A plot of land where there is now a building in the city center was, at that time, a pelerinho, a place where slaves were whipped and punished. At the end of the video, you will see that this location eventually became perhaps the stage for the second worst disaster in the history of a building, second only to the World Trade Center. This channel was in Sao Paulo in 2023 and obtained current images of the building, which you will see in more detail at the end. And as you can see here, there is no evidence of tragedies, but we cannot say the same for the ghosts that lingered there. Watch the complete story. Long before this other major tragedy, with the arrival of modernization in the early 1900s, a house was built on the property that became the scene of the well crime. This crime was highly publicized at the time when, in 1948, a professor from the University of Sao Paulo killed his mother and two sisters and concealed their bodies in a well. When the women went missing and the police arrived, they found the bodies, and the professor took his own life in the bathroom of the house. Subsequently, a firefighter who assisted in the recovery of the bodies also died from cadaveric infection. In 1971, the house associated with the well crime no longer existed. Instead, the modern 25-story Joelma building was inaugurated on the site. On February 1, 1974, a short circuit occurred on its 12th floor when an air conditioning unit malfunctioned. Due to the inadequate safety conditions of that time and highly flammable furnishings and carpets, the fire tragically claimed the lives of 187 people, with 300 others sustaining injuries. Among the 187 who lost their lives, 13 of them attempted to escape through the elevator, which became stuck and they were found charred and unidentifiable. They were buried side by side in Sao Pedro Cemetery, and thereafter, eerie cries began emanating from the graves. A gravedigger discovered that when water was poured onto the graves, the cries ceased. Today, people pray and place cups of water at the site. In a movie that was produced narrating the tragedy, the photos taken during filming depict unexplained apparitions. In the 2000s, the city's mayor called a monk to purify the site and renamed the building Praca de Bandera, Flag Square. However, the monk himself reported that it was not possible to purify it because the souls did not want to leave. Thus, strange phenomena continue to occur to this day, such as shadows, screams, and moving objects. A tragedy at Joelma is the second worst skyscraper fire in terms of the number of fatal victims, trailing only the collapse of the Twin Towers at the World Trade Center in New York on September 11, 2001. The fire department received the first call at 9.03 a.m. Two minutes later, vehicles departed from nearby fire stations, but due to adverse traffic conditions, they only reached the scene at 9.10 a.m., by which time the flames had already reached the 20th floor, prompting several people to jump from the building. The rescue effort mobilized 1,500 men, including firefighters and security forces, teams from five state hospitals and various private ones, 14 helicopters, 39 vehicles, and all ambulances from the hospital network. All of the city's fire trucks, as well as several private ones, were deployed, along with a large number of volunteers who responded to calls for blood donations before authorities made official requests. 15 firefighters were affected by smoke inhalation, and many criticized the inadequate equipment they had, in addition to the weak fire prevention regulations in the city. 
The Municipal Code of Construction for Sao Paulo, dating back to 1934, did not mandate the installation of fire safety equipment nor require the construction of emergency staircases. The resources allocated to the fire department were insufficient, and the size of the force was significantly small. Around 10.30 a.m., the fire had already consumed practically all flammable materials in the building, but it wasn't until 2.20 p.m. that all survivors had been rescued. Of the approximately 756 occupants of the building, 187 died, and over 300 were injured. The vast majority of the victims were employees of Crefusel Investment Bank. 30 people who perished in the fire and remained in the building were not identified. The heat during the fire may have exceeded 900 degrees, at which temperature a body is completely destroyed, leaving at most about one and a half kilograms of ashes. The water that the firefighters sprayed could have turned everything into mud. The tragedy prompted a re-evaluation and restructuring of fire prevention and combat systems in Brazilian metropolises. At the time, the regulations in Sao Paulo were from 1934, a period when the city had 700,000 inhabitants, buildings were relatively low-rise, and there wasn't the prevalence of electrical appliances seen in the 1970s. Now, take a look at recent images of the building captured in 2023 by this channel, followed by footage provided by the building's concierge. The footage shows a recent ghost within this parking lot, where we recorded the entrance, and it made shopping carts move and a motorcycle start on its own. These and other cases are showcased here on the Mystery Machine channel. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe.